Hey everybody, we're here at Optional Medical Center on the West Bank campus, Bell Chase Highway. We're here in front of the emergency room. I want to walk you through the emergency room and show you all the measures we have in place, show you the resources we have to make sure you and your loved ones are safe when you come to the ER for care. So here, this is our temperature check-in station where someone asks you about any COVID-related symptoms and gives you a mask if you don't have one and checks your temperature with a forehead probe. This is Latonya Randall. She's the director of the emergency room. And she and I and the rest of the team work hard to make sure we have all the protections in place to keep everyone safe. And once we check in here, we'll walk on in and get triaged. I wanted to check into the emergency room. The initial registration process is pretty quick. When you first come in, you see the registration clerk, you give her your information, your name, we check you in real quickly, and then we take you over to triage. We make sure that everyone stays safe, socially distanced. We have some spots on the floor to show everyone where to stand safely. If triage isn't immediately available, we're gonna have you wait in the waiting room and we'll show you what that looks like. We have measures in place to make sure everyone stays distanced safely. We do have the waiting room set up so patients are safely spaced apart from each other. We do ask that most visitors wait outside, either in their car or safely at home. Children are allowed a visitor and adult patients who aren't able to speak for themselves or care for themselves are allowed a visitor. Visitors are updated often when patients check in, just make sure that there's a valid phone number on file and the nurse or the technician or the physician will call you and keep you posted about what's going on. Charlene Bow. Hi, how my are you? My name is Monique, I'll be the nurse to get you triage. Thank you. Once my triage vitals are taken, based on that and my complaint, it's determined what part of the emergency room I need to go to and how quickly I need to get there. If someone suspects that I have a COVID-19 or I have symptoms that could be consistent with COVID-19, we will make sure that I am safely separated from other patients in the emergency room and everyone is taken care of safely. Most patients are given a private room. We have lots of measures that we've put in place to keep people safe. Latoya is the nurse taking great care of me and let's talk about some of the measures that we have to keep people safe. We have several measures to keep people safe. We have a copper masks that the staff wear. We have copper sheets, we have copper gowns, we have copper curtains. The copper is used because it cuts down infection rate. We know that patients come to the emergency room at what might be one of the most vulnerable moments in their life. We want to make sure that people know that it, this is a safe place to come. We're here for them and we're honored that they chose us for care and we want people to feel comfortable that they can continue to choose us to provide the great care that we've always provided. 